right, David. A little windy, cooler tomorrow, but yeah. then the sunny stretch is here, and that's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, Zach, I was just looking at the models, and it doesn't look like we're going to see any rain. I mean, some of the models may see some sprinkles and showers, but it doesn't look like we're going to see any widespread rain for quite some time. Nice. It could be a week, <laughs> seven, you know, but that's how things are looking right now. But, you know, it is New England. It is Maine. <laughs> things can change pretty quickly, as we know. Right now, look at the temperature of Portland. That's our high, our high temperature for the day right now, just achieved at 11 o'clock. So that's how things are going right now. We had milder air to the west. We had an onshore breeze, so that's why we stuck in the 40s. But once that cold front came through, it, it switched the winds out of the northwest, brought some of that milder air right to the coast, and that's why we're seeing our high temperature right now. But those temperatures will drop a little bit overnight. Bangor at 42 degrees, Callis at 38 degrees, Rockland 43. Greenville 44, uh, pretty chilly to the north, but still uh, kind of impressive to see a high temperature late in the nighttime hours. Right now we have a weak area of low pressure moving off the coast. This is our cold front that's off the coast. Another secondary frontal system will move through overnight tonight into tomorrow and high pressure will settle into the area and that's going to give us a pretty dry stretch of weather as we go through the next several days into the weekend and even into next week. Right now seeing some of those showers they're out of the Portland area the mid coast area but we're still seeing them down east but they're moving pretty swiftly. We'll zoom in just a little bit closer Closer. So Calus over to Machias, some moderate showers out there, but they're going to continue to move towards the east. Bar Harbor, I think you're pretty much done. You may have a couple of sprinkles uh, over by Belfast and as you get down into uh, some of the coastal areas. But for the most part, these showers are getting out of here overnight. So we'll start the timestamp at midnight, watching those temperatures drop, drier air moving in, temperatures dropping into the 30s and even some upper 20s to the north, but mostly in the lower to mid 40s as you head toward the coast tomorrow. But you're going to notice the wind kicking up. A couple of snow showers will develop. We have winds upslope over the higher elevations, and that's why we're expecting some snow showers and some flurries across the higher elevations tomorrow. The temperature is dropping back a little bit even uh, across the higher terrain in the 20s, but mostly in the 30s as you get to Bangor tomorrow afternoon and in the 40s closer to the coast in the afternoon. By tomorrow evening, temperatures drop through the 30s, so it's going to be a chilly evening tomorrow night, no uh, evening, uh, no doubt about it, Friday evening. And as you go through tomorrow night, temperatures will be dropping into the teens Saturday night northern areas and mostly in the 20s. So Friday night promises to be a really cold night. So you definitely want to bundle up if you're heading out uh, Saturday morning, if you're doing a morning jog or whatnot on or walking the dogs. On Friday afternoon, here's what we're expecting for gusts of winds. Could see some 30, 40 mile per hour winds across the higher terrain, even mid coast to down east, seeing some 35 mile per hour gusts as we go through the course of the day. So it's definitely gonna have a feel of uh, just a little chilly out there with these winds kicking uh, 30 to 35 mile per hour possible in Portland as we go through the evening into tomorrow night. Winds do subside a little bit, but they kick up a little bit on Saturday. So Saturday, I'm expecting just a bit of a breeze out there, but we'll see plenty of sunshine and it'll be seeing we'll be seeing temperatures in the 40s, but it will be kind of blustery. High pressure crests over New England Saturday afternoon and into Sunday. So Sunday's looking like a decent day. We'll see temperatures kick up just a tad, but it won't be too bad out there. So pretty decent weekend setting up. As far as the marine forecasts go, we do have a gale watch in effect for those gusty winds, and those winds will be out of the west-northwest. They'll start out the west, and then they'll turn more out of the northwest, 15 to 25 knots, gusting up to 35 knots, and those seas will be three to four feet. So that's how things are looking. Take a look at that seven-day forecast, and I know all eyes are on next week, no doubt about it. We get through Easter Sunday, and uh, we'll see temperatures in the 60s inland locations, maybe some showers Tuesday night into Wednesday so as a weak system moves through and even along the coastline temperatures will be a tad bit cooler because you could have that onshore breeze but if the winds do kick up a little bit higher as we get into Wednesday we could be pro approaching 70 even along the coastline by Thursday so nice yes yeah, yeah, <laughs> spring are, we're getting what's there. that I know right <laughs> we should go right this summer don't yeah. we <laughs> thanks right. David